When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future. Fighting for your career. Fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now. Or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget. You are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and life coach and host of this show to take your life back today. Radio show. You can see a video version of this by going to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Or just simply type in my name, Ralph Friedrichs. We all have things that come against us in life. An illness, people who don't treat us fairly, a slowdown in our business, setbacks. We are praying, we are believing, doing the right thing, but nothing is changing. It's easy to get discouraged and to think it's never going to improve in life. Friends, but the way you win some battles is not by defeating, but by outlasting the opposition. You have to... Uh, 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 to have st- the staying power. Some enemies are stubborn. You can't be weak and give up because it's not happening on your timetable. You have to stay steadfast. You have to outlast the trouble at work, outlast the slow season in your finances, outlast the difficulties in your marriage, my friends. We all want God to deliver us from attacks, but he, if he's not changing it, then it's really simple. You have to outlast those attacks. You have to rely on God to, to be there. Sometimes we think God has forgotten about us. We've seen him turn situations around in the past, but this problem won't seem to go away. God is still going to turn it around, but this time you have to have a holy determination, a made-up mind, and say, I'm in it for the long haul. I am standing right here, God, waiting. Quitting is not an option. I'm going to outlast this sickness, you must say, this addiction, this injustice, these critics. The victory will come through outlasting them. There are two kinds of faith, delivering faith and sustaining faith. We love delivering faith. That's when God instantly turns it around and we defeat our problem. We don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for a long or endure a long process. God suddenly shows out in our life. But most of the time, we're going to need sustaining faith. 
That's when God takes us through the challenge, through the difficulty, and through to the end. He could change it in an instant, but if he did that, our faith would never grow and will never mature and develop. Sometimes you have to wonder why challenges you're facing are not uh, changing. You're being your best, but nothing is improving in your life. The scripture says, he who endures to the end will be saved in Matthew 24, 13. You have to outlast the opposition. Don't worry about defeating it, because if you just outlast it, you're going to see the victory. God is going to defeat what's trying to hold you back this morning. You keep honoring God with an attitude of faith and you won't have to fight for long. God will move the wrong people out of your way. I promise you that. He'll open a door that you couldn't open yourself. Friends, he'll turn that situation and your health around. Outlast the sickness. Outlast the injustice. Outlast the trouble at work. Outlast the loneliness in your life. You have to tap into that staying power. Start this morning. Don't give up along the way. Don't get discouraged because... It's taken, a long, uh, taken longer than you thought it would. Your time is coming, and it's here now. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a total stranger will change that stranger's life forever, and it can change your life. May God bless each and every one of you. God is waiting for you. Outlast your problems by relying on God. Sustain your faith this early morning and for the rest of your lives. May God bless you and we'll talk to you soon. Take good care. Bye-bye now. Mm-hmm.